gentlemen, welcome to the second episode of PWF Fight Factory, the, mo the, the more underground feel to the PWF wrestling show here on the YouTube exclusive. Welcome everybody, YouTube viewers and people here in Pontiac, MI. We have got a rowdy crowd here tonight and we've got some free classic brawling matches for you tonight. So right here is our first match of the evening. The returning Aid Frodo, the former PWF World Champion, goes up against Tank Smith. We haven't seen Aid Frodo since he lost the championship uh, belt at the Plumpy Rumble a few weeks ago. Still got a bit of cockiness to him. Oh, yes. This guy wears that gas mask on. Very intimidating. I don't know. He thinks he's some type of messiah. He went on one hell of an unbeaten run uh, for, since his debut. He didn't lose his first singles match until the start of this year when Finchie put on ev all the opportunity on the line against a streak and he beat uh, Aid Frodo. Then Aid Frodo lost in a tag match against Finchie as well. Um... That was two weeks on the trot. And then the Plumpy Rumble. Finchie tried cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. But what happened in the end is Aaron took advantage of that. Hit the stunner on Abe Frodo and beat Abe Frodo for the championship. Abe Frodo hasn't said anything about a potential, um, what's it called? A rematch clause or anything. We don't know if there is a rematch clause. But here he is in the Fight Factory like I said, hasn't been seen since the Plumpy Rumble, but is here in the Fight Factory. The fans here in Pontiac, not a fan. Not a fan, it seems. He's getting lots of boos as he enters the ring. Aid Frodo, absolutely devastating with that chokehold. Has that devastating chokehold. You get caught on that and you're pretty much over. But tonight he goes up against another debut of this year, uh, Tank Smith. He's had some good matches, a couple, uh, had that couple of decent matches against Kevin Steele has a devastating super kick as a finisher as well as a bulldog uh, full Nelson bulldog as well so you better watch out this guy he's going he's walking down he's got a bit of a strut to himself down here we have heard rumors that he is a former Olympic um, power lifter from Columbus Ohio here we go Tank Smith. The fans here in Pontiac are liking Tank Smith. He's got a little bit of fan favorite. There he goes. Throws the arms aloft. The fans are cheering here in the Fight Factory. In the dingier setting that we have here for the Fight Factory. This is all about the fight in here. We, but like I said, we have some great matches for you coming up. But here we're going to go to our first match after Tank Smith has stopped his entrance here. We're going to play. We're going to see Aid Frodo. Seeing if he can get back on that win streak. And get himself back up uh, those rankings ready for maybe a potential uh, title shot in the future. Who knows? All right, here we go. A throw ready. Look at that. He's just a mean, creepy looking guy. Tank Smith looking strong as anything. The bell has been rung. They lock up. Tank Smith, early doors, going for some type of... No, A. Frodo escaped that one and escaped by A. Frodo, but then an elbow as he tried doing something there. Tank Smith lives... Oh, A. Frodo had been very slippery here. Reverse that into a reverse DDT. The champ is not... The former champ is not messing around here, but oh, he's been swept his legs there. This is very back and forth. All it does... Oh, he ran at Tank Smith and Tank Smith with a power slam out of nowhere. Tank Smith showing his strength then and his quickness. He's going top rope. Oh, went for an elbow drop. Caught A-Frodo on the back as he was coming to his feet. How is A-Frodo back up? Oh, A-Frodo runs out and hits him down with a lariat there. Oh, big knife edge chops. Right after one. Then a rolling forearm shot there. A-Frodo going on top rope for himself. What's he got in mind? Big elbow drop of his own as A-Frodo here. Oh, my God. This is very intense. Back and forth. Early doors. What's he thinking? Oh, he's thinking that big swing. He's locked the leg as well. Swinging that big aid Frodo swing we have seen him use in the past. He actually beat Tyrant Will with this. Oh my god, Tank Smith must be equal. Uh, is equal. Oh, and there's the choke. This could be over early doors. The choke that he has finished off many superstars and even won the championship with it. But Tank Smith doesn't look like to know. He breaks free. 
Hits a big punch. Oh, but gets hit with a nice head. He broke free, but he can't be feeling all right after that. Oh, no, Tanksmith floats around. What a reversal by Tanksmith with a DDT. Tanksmith dragging a throw to the center of the ring. He thinks that DDT could be enough, maybe? I don't know. Oh, stomps on the head. What's he thinking? What's he thinking? Boom, knee. Neck breaker combination. What a combo from Tanksmith. He goes for the cover. Oh, no. No, what the hell's going on? What the hell's... That's Kevin Steele. Kevin Steele slowly sulks down the ring. These guys had a little bit of rivalry. We haven't seen the rubber match yet. Kevin Steele won the last match. What's his A Frodo? Oh, nice little roll up there. He's going for a quick win. What? No. Not even a one count. But, but he will have the advantage here. He puts it... Um, Tag Smith into a powerbomb position. Big... Oh, big jackknife powerbomb there. And Kevin Steele is staying at ringside. What is Kevin Steele up to here? He had an absolute great victory uh, on Friday night against Rob Awesome. And now, oh, Tank Smith's been thrown over the top rope by Afro. What has Afro got on? Oh, he's been uh, hung up on that rope by Tank Smith. Tank Smith, body blows. Then lifts him up going for a big backbreaker. Big backbreakers. Then a standing splash on Afro. This could be over. This could be over. No, it's not. He's stomping on it. He's not living up. But what is Tank Smith? Oh! Tank St um, Kevin Steele is staying on the outside, it seems. Watching on by. But Afrode has got a little bit of an offensive now. Oh, it's a choke hold again. Out of nowhere. Afrode is absolutely angry. And he locks on that choke again. Will Tank Smith be able to survive it this time? Will he? I don't know. I think he he's holding on. This guy has shown some absolute strength. Afrode has give up and said no. What's this again? Is he locking up that... Jackknife again! A second one in a row! And now, oh, it's the big swing again! A Frodo's big swing! Oh my god, Tank Smith is, doesn't know where he is. Kevin Steele's watching on. And A Frodo, was he going to go for a cover? This could be over. One, two, no! Tank Smith manages to get up. A Frodo is not happy with that. A Frodo is not happy. Oh, I think he's calling for that choke for a third time. I don't think Tank Smith will get out this time. Oh, I don't think he's going to get out. There it is, a third time. Tank Smith surely, surely will not get out of here a third time. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's passed out. And A Frodo is holding that on. And Kevin Steele is celebrating the back. A Frodo, the former PWF world champ, back to winning ways with that devastating choke hold. Will here we go, ladies and gents. I have a second match, and we're going a little bit extreme here with an extreme rules match. No DQs, no countouts, weapons and courage. Here comes Cal in his second match. He's going to hope to do a lot better than he did against Tyron Will on his singles debut. He did appear in the Plumpy Rumble um, a couple of weeks ago and had a good showing in there, but this guy... This is Cal. Look at the big fella. He has that front time. He nearly injured uh, Tyrant Will by powerbombing him out of the ring. But Tyrant Will was enough to uh, beat him a couple of weeks ago. On uh, That was on Plump Me Up a couple of weeks ago. But Cal will be looking to try and get a win in the win column. But he has got a tough ask, if I'm going to say to do myself. Um, and talking about Tyrant Will, his opponent is not Tyrant Will. It is an absolute monster of a man. Absolute monster of a man. Willie Biggs. Look at this guy. This guy on his singles debut took on Game Over and basically was a squash match. Basic squash match. Basically beat Game Over. He We were surprised that Game Over was medically cleared for his uh, PWF Streaming Championship match this past uh, Friday on Plump Me Up. Um, but Willie Biggs, that's not the end of his story though. He got that win for some reason after Tyrant Will's match against Paddy. Willie Biggs attacked Tyrant Will. They went back and forth in the attack. Willie, uh, Willie Biggs got the upper hand on the attack. We do not know why, but that wasn't the end of it. Near the end of the show, just before the main event, we got cut to some footage backstage where um, Willie Biggs was actually um, attacking Tyrant Will. We're going to throw you that um, up for you now. I'm going to show you what happened just before the main event last week. Here we go there. Willie Biggs 
absolutely a destroying um, Tyrant Will backstage. Just drops him onto that um, backstage thing. Then look at this. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Steel chair over the head of Tyrant Will. Right unprotected hair shot. Then slams it on with that again. And just keeps unrelentlessly with that. But so, yeah, this man is a very dangerous, dangerous man. We don't even know why Tyrant Will was attacked by this guy. But here we go. Oh, it's good. Cal's getting there early doors. Picks him up. Big slams by Cal. But Willie picks it up. Boom. Ran out Cal. But Cal on the defensive for there. Oh, but no. Willie Biggs has grabbed him. You've got to be careful. Oh, no. He's escaping. Cal is escaping. The big lad. Oh, big right hands by Cal. Big. Oh, but gets cool with that elbow. Willie Biggs here. Oh, my God. Just lifts the big guy up with no effort. Drops him down. Oh, no, he's got his leg caught here. Dragon screw. By, very agile move there by Cal with the dragon screw. Great dragon screw. Willie Biggs. Can't get on the offensive. Oh, there we go. He couldn't get on the offensive. Cal was doing everything. Oh, and he just lifts Cal on his shoulder like nobody. Just drops him on. Oh, I think Cal's been busted open somehow. I think he may have hit the metal. I think he may have hit the hat metal. His face may have been bone. Oh, and a big sweeping close on the Cal. He's taking the fight to... To Bill, Willie Biggs. He's biting the fingers of Willie Biggs. Willie Biggs is back up. Oh, big right hands. Oh, this is back and forth. We, we didn't expect this, really. Cal is putting on a fight. Cal is putting on a fight. Oh, and he close lines Willie Biggs over the top rope. Oh, my God. Cal is putting on a fight here. Willie Biggs is not showing that he is the monster at the moment. Back in the ring by Cal. What's Cal doing? Cal back in. He's not wasting any time here. Oh, he's going out. He's getting that camel clutch. No, oh, drops his ass on the back. Willie Biggs went for a big clip. Of Cal has been very good with defense. Drops that thing on the back row. Is he thinking? No, Willie Biggs slips out. Going for a camel clutch, I think you Cal was then. Willie Biggs picks up. Oh, he's got that bear hug. The hair bear hug. He finished game over with that bear hug. Look at the face of Cal. He's been busted open on the nose. Oh, the headbutt to escape the bear hug. But, oh, low boots by Willie Big. Dodges that one. Cal is putting up one hell of a fight. And doing really well. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. The Willie Biggs. Oh, the reckoning from the Willie Biggs. This is over. Cal put on a great fight. One, two. Oh, it's not. Cal's, Cal's kicked out. Willie Biggs could not believe it. He hit that retribute, um, reckoning finisher move. Oh, Cal's going for something, gets picked up over the shoulders. Look at Willie Biggs, the strength of this guy. Oh, no, he's wasted too much time because Cal drops a few elbows to escape. Cal has got Willie Biggs on the ropes. What's he thinking? What's he thinking? What the hell? What the hell's, what the hell's Cal thinking? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He speared him through the ropes. The big guy speared Willie Biggs through the ropes. Oh, my God. Now he's buying the figures. What the hell was that from the big guy? Speared Willie Biggs through the ropes. Oh my God. Cal is looking for some weapons. He has that kendo stick. Oh, over the shoulders of Willie Biggs. Then the face. Oh my God. Cal is doing brilliantly. How is Willie Biggs up? He's gone. Oh, he throws Cal into the barrier. What's Willie Biggs got in mind? Back into the ring. He's thinking. Oh my God. What? I cannot believe that spear through the ropes from Willie Biggs. No. I mean, um, Cal. Willie Biggs is going back outside. What's he thinking? What is Billy Biggs? He's thinking weapons. Cal is there standing. He probably should get, make the thing. A table has been brought into the ring. Well, it's being brought into the ring, I should say. It's been brought into action here. Oh, big uppercut by Willie Biggs. And an overhand right. I think Cal may have been... Lim uh, could be out, out there. What's Willie Biggs thinking? Just grabs, oh my god, grabs Cal over the ropes. Oh, just slams him with an axe and drops him head first. Oh, uppercut again for Cal. Knife edge chops. Cal has been put on a good fight, but it seems that Willie Biggs is finding a bit more of a groove. No, Cal drops down. Lifts up. Lifts him up in the show. What strength by Cal. Big running power slam. Big running power slam. The blood is up. He is bringing the table now. Oh no, he doesn't get a chance because Willie Biggs hits him. That table is up, set up there, ladies and gents. Cal. Big backbreakers by Cal. Big backbreakers. Oh, big right hand. Big right hand. Big splash. Oh, big splash. Puts the cover. This could be over. One, two. No, Willie Biggs is up. 
Oh my god, Willie Biggs was probably not expecting this much of a fight from Cal. Oh my lord. What's this? Cal Irish whips into the corner. Then ran oh ran running in but got caught with an elbow. Willie Biggs. Willie Biggs hooks those arms. So oh, just throws him over a suplex. Willie Biggs is a big strong guy to lift this. Um big heavy set fella. But no, Cal, this is very back and forth. Dodges that though. Big boots. Oh, big right hands. Oh, and he just knocks the big guy off his feet. That table is being introduced again. It's being put in the corner by Willie Biggs. What has he got in the mind? What has he got in his mind? Big right hands. What's he thinking? Lifts Cal up on his shoulders. Well, he's put that table for no reason. Oh, Cal escapes. Cal is escaping. Big knife edge. Right hands. Oh, Cal. Oh, dropped. Willie Biggs with a knee, but oh my god. Willie Biggs is like the Terminator. Just keeps getting up. That table's been set up for no reason. I don't know. Cal blocks. This is back and forth. Oh, big right hands. Oh, I'm thinking, here we go. The retribution it for a second time. Surely Cal can't get up from this. It look, the blood is dripping from his face too. Three, it's over. Willie Biggs. He probably wasn't expecting that much of a fight, but Willie Biggs becomes is on an unbeaten streak, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on to our third and final match. The main event of the show. Zender making his debut here in the Fight Factory. And the OG of the PWF roster. Former PWF heavyweight champion of the world. When he beat Tyrant Will at Summer Sizzle and Bob Mancat in that triple threat match. The, the, um, the reign of the championship only lasted a week though. Uh, Tyrant Will managed to have a rematch clause in his contract and beat him a week later. So, t But this guy is a big strong dude. He has tagged up with a few people in the past. He is a, he is a Tag Wars 2022 winner with Jigs. They won the Tag Wars tournament last year. So this guy's got credentials. He is a big guy. Has that dangerous burning Zen hammer as well as the multiple power bombs. But he's going up against... Gun Sage. This guy made a debut in the Plumble and then had his first ever singles match last week against the Plumble winner, uh, Catfish Wellington, in the Fight Factory. So this is Gun Sage's second appearance in the Fight Factory. He has yet to make his appearance on PWF Plump Me Up on a Friday. That will happen surely enough, I know. But this guy he is a big guy, bearded guy. Look at that cool. He likes the Illuminous Green shirt. That nice little trilby hat, cool ass, got the jorts on. Oh, he's hyped. Oh, he's hyped. He's kind of, he's kind of got a, like a fun-loving cockiness side to him, it seems. The fans here in Pontiac are obviously liking this guy. But Will Zender, Zender has a thing of facing the, the new guys and finishing them off. He did it with Tank Smith, and he, did it with, he has done it with a couple others in the past as well. So Zender, no pushover in here, the OG. Gun Sage is ready. Zender's ready. The referee calls for the bell. Big host battle for the main event. Here we go. Went for something, but the Unsage is blocking those, but not enough. Because Zender's double-handed ch choke slam by Zender. Then just, oh, just grabs the big guy. Zen oh, Zender just drops his ass on the knees, I think, of Gun Sage. Oh, Gun Sage comes back with a, a kick there. Then a big right hand here. Big Irish whip into the corner. That was a hard Irish whip by Gun Sage. Now, oh, elbows that corner on Zender. This is a very... This is a big, heavy set fuck match. Oh, oh, Zender ran at Gun Sage, but Gun Sage saw him and hit him with a power bomb. That happened earlier on in the first match tonight. Stomps on the match. Oh, it was for a leg drop, but Zender's out of the way. He looks in a little bit dazed there, but he's got Gun Sage, picks him up. What the hell's he doing? Oh, big clubbing blow to the chest. Then drops in a bonsai drop, similar to the Bunza Steel. Not quite the Bunza Steel, but Zender. But it is a dangerous move anyway. Then he's going for something now. What's he going in mind? Big suplexes. Big suit, no, reverse, just throws him down on his face. Going recovery, could be eight, could be a quick cover here. One, no, only a one count. Remember though, even a one count exerts the energy. So you better careful. Oh, went for someone, got caught in the face by that kick by Gun Sage. What's Gun Sage doing? Gun Sage doing, oh, I've got like a camel clutch here, but he's more ra raking at the mouth area. It's a submission, but I think Zender is managing to break free. He's getting to his feet. Will he get out? Will he get out? He's pulling his hands. He does. And he flips over Gun Sage. But that could have took enough out of him. Gun Sage is up. Zender's there though. Got him with a front slam here. Takes him to that corner. Slams him. And then throws him like he's trash. 
Oh my lord. Then a big Bonze drop again by Zender. Taking the book of bells and what's he thinking? Oh, just grabs the arms and stomping on the chest. Oh my god, vicious side of Zender here. Then a kick. Oh no, Gunstage blocked it. Dragon's Groove. Here we go. What a what a match we're having here. Back and forth. No, jaw breaker by Zender. Then a big, oh, the big Lariat takes Gunstage's head off. Oh my lord. What's he thinking? Here we go. I think here it is. The burning Zen Hammer. The burning Zen Hammer, ladies and gents. Boom! It could be over after that. If he... If he think... Uh, I think he is. I thought that if that was enough for Zender, he's dragging Gun Sage, lifeless carcass into the center ring. He's going for that cover. It, surely it's over, ladies and gents. One. Two. No! Gun Sage kicks. I, oh, my lord. Gun Sage putting on a little bit of a fight up on here. But Zender's going to wait. He's thinking probably multiple power bombs now. The multiple Zen bombs. No! Gun Sage went out of the way, then a big Larry of his own took the head off of Zender. I figure he was thinking, oh, what the hell is he? No, 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 this, I don't know what's going on. Oh, they ran into each other, they clashed. They clashed, Gun Sage, Irish whip, Zender over the top rope he goes. Gun Sage, oh, he's cheering here in Pontiac. He needs to get a bit of a breather maybe after hit, being hit with that um, burning Zen hammer. Now he rolls outside of face, Zender. Zender's back up there, he took too much time. Zender's there now, what's Zender thinking? Zen is thinking, no, it's a back body drop to the outside. That is a thin layer of padding, ladies and gentlemen. That is to protect the concrete underneath, not the wrestlers. Oh, sick gun sage is dropping bombs on Zender's face there. Oh my god, and then stomping on the face, but gets caught with a kick. Not for long. Nong seems to be able to keep him in for long. Zender throws him back in the ring, knowing he needs to get this match in the ring. Oh, what's this gun sage waits for him? What's gun sage thinking? Big suplexes. Big stalling suplex there. Then a run. Oh, then he clotheslines Zender over the top rope. Oh, my God. Gun Sage likes this guy being on, out, on the outside, it seems. Boom. Oh, big right hand. Big right hand. I think he's busted Zender open with that right hand. That right hand must have done enough power to bust open Zender. The blood is trickling down from the left eye, it seems. Just above, underneath that bandana. What is Gun Sage doing? Oh, he's got that claw into the shoulder. That trap area. You can't get a submission out of there. Oh, Zender just breaks free and sweeps the leg. Oh, my Lord. Zender needs to do something. What's he thinking? What's Zender thinking? No, he's going for suplex, but Gun Sage manages to break free. Big elbows from Gun Sage. Throws Zender back into the ring. It's time to bring it, bring it back to the ring and finish him off, maybe, is Gun Sage thinking. He is going for a cover. One. Two. No. Zender kicks out. But Gun Sage hasn't done enough, it seems. Hasn't done enough just yet. Boom. Big right hand. Oh. Zender caught. Then a slap. Oh, my God. Then a big German suplex folds. Gun Sage up like an accordion. What is it now? Oh, it, here we go. The multiple. No. The multiple. Zen bombs we fought. But the back body drop by Gun Sage. He is putting up a fight. It's Gun Sage. Big right hands. What's Gun Sage thinking? Gun Sage thinking, torture rack maybe, torture rack it is, he's got the torture rack locked in, will Zender tap out, will Zender tap out, what a, what a, this is a, no, no, Zender dropping bombs on the top of the Gun Sage's head, then what's he thinking, rip cord, oh Rainmaker, the rip cord lariat, oh my god from Zender, stomps on the, Oh my god, this is a match. What a main event, ladies and gents. What a main event. Is he thinking those Zen bombs, those multiple Zen bombs? There he is, he puts him in. This time he's got it. One. Deadlifts again. This is showing a strong guy. Two. And then the third for final measure. Boom! The cover. Surely this is over. Surely Zenner is once again be a debutant. No! Oh my god, Gunsey gets his shoulder up. Holy crap! This guy is made of some stuff. Zender is not having this. Zender's going to put the burning Zen hammer on. The burning Zen hammer. Boom! The crowd are fighting, saying fight forever. We would love to see this match go on forever. Zen, what's Zen doing? Oh, he's deadlifting. Deadlifting. The Zen hammer's not enough. Tilt the world. Slam there. Zen is thinking, no, I am not finishing you. You busted me open. I'm going to kick your ass. This guy is all about the fight. That's why he's a welcome person here in the fight factory. Big front drop kicks from Zender. I don't think we've ever seen that from Zender before. 
Xander, what's he thinking? Oh, he's stomping on the chest. Stomping on the chest of Gun Siege. He is not done. He is, is he going for those triple power bombs again? No. Headlock and throws him across the ring. And then deadlift German overhead. Oh, my God. Xander, his unrelentless night is just going for it. Gun Siege hasn't been able to get back up after kicking out from those Zen bombs. It could be here they are again. Here they are again. One. Surely it's over now. Two. And a third one. Boom. The Zen Bombs. The multiple Zen Bombs. Surely it's over now. One. Two. Three. It's over. Zen did not like the fact that Gun Siege kicked out of those Zen Bombs earlier. And he punished him. There is Zen Hammer. The unpredictable Z-Man himself. Zender. He's been busted open by that, just underneath that bandana, it seems. The blood is dripping into the left eye. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the second episode of the Fight Factory in the books. I will catch you all again this Friday, live, over on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash jigs85 for some PWF Plump Me Up Live. Hope to see you there, and you have a good night, and have a great rest of your week. Good night.